If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell icon to get the latest updates. Welcome to Zerantic on Matrix Reporting in Workday. I'll be walking you through the key concepts related to matrix reporting in this video. Disclaimer In this video, we will cover what is matrix reporting and how it works in Workday. Defining drillable fields and detailed data for a matrix report. Viewing and interacting with a matrix report. Workday enables you to build custom analytics using matrix reporting. Matrix reports are used to aggregate and summarize numeric data and visually chart the results. Dynamically change rows and columns at runtime to view different data summarizations. Drill into summarized amounts for further analysis and take action. Drill into the details that make up any summarized amounts. The matrix report type displays data grouped and summarized, with the ability to interact and drill into the summaries. Matrix reports are similar to pivot tables and cross tabs in other systems. Data is grouped into a row group and optionally a column group. Values in the matrix cells display aggregates scoped to the intersection of the row and column groups. Once built, you can view summarized data by different fields. Each cell in the matrix is drillable. You can drill into a number in a matrix cell and group by another field, or view the underlying details for that number. The drillable fields and detailed data are defined in the matrix report definition under the Drill Down tab. Here is a summary of the key capabilities of matrix reporting in Workday. Aggregate and summarize data with Drill Down for analysis. Include optional column grouping. Interactively change row and column fields at runtime. Define drill paths and detailed data to analyze summarized amounts. This graphic summarizes the main components of a matrix report. You define row and optional column groupings, aggregations, and drill down paths. The summarized data can then be analyzed by interactively filtering, grouping, and drilling down. When defining a matrix report, first configure the summary matrix under the matrix tab. Summarize the primary business object. Define row and optional column groupings. Specify at least one row grouping and one summarization. The default summarization is count, but you can choose from several options. Here is an example matrix report definition showing the primary business object, row and column groupings, and summarization. When building a matrix report, you can also define drillable fields, fields the user can further group and analyze by, detailed data, fields displayed when the user selects view details or clicks on a metric. These are defined under the Drill Down tab. This screenshot shows configuring the drillable fields and detailed data for a matrix report. The drillable fields drive the view by options. The detailed data defines the fields displayed on view details. This shows an example matrix report with group by and view by options, and the ability to drill into a summary amount. The view by options come from the drillable fields defined for the report. View details displays the fields defined under detailed data. Thank you for watching our video and please subscribe to our channel for more informative videos. Thank you for attending the session. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also feel free to ask your questions in the comment section below and we will reply to them at the earliest.